Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be discussing how the hell do I get all that shit off my leg? Yes, the age old question of how to get the soot off of your light. Uh, no, just because your light is smoky does not mean that it's ruined. This has been an age old question that from generation to generation seems to have stumped new shooters uh, worldwide. Uh, we're gonna go over a couple of a couple of things I've heard on the internet on how to clean the light and uh, a couple of preventative measures and how I how I normally do it. Now this is a Streamlight TLR1 HL. I've never actually re reviewed one of these. Um, I have two of two or three of them now, and uh, just absolutely my favorite pistol light uh, of all time. It's the Do All Light. It's been around forever. Um, the only one I consider to be equal or above it is the X X300, but that is prohibitively expensive, and I've never had a single problem with any one of these. So the first thing I want to do is to warn people against scrubbing this with anything abrasive to try to get it off there. <clears throat> um, you will permanently dull the glass because it's scratched up. It'll end up looking like your headlights that you've uh, gotten smoky and, and dull over the last decade on your truck. Uh, the black on the body, I am using the OD or the uh, FDE one because it's a little bit easier to see. Uh, the black on the body will come off as well. Uh, now. I tend to treat my lights, which just means I put a little bit of, once they're clean, I put a little bit of like REM oil or any, any sort of lube that I'm using on my, on, my, on my firearm and I just put a very thin, thin uh, film on there and I just have to take the tail of my shirt and it's considerably better already. Like you couldn't even see the LED before and uh, you can now. So it's gotten considerably better just with a simple white of a t-shirt tail. And you can do that, like I said, just by putting a little bit of whatever oil you're lubing your gun with on there and letting it stay. That way the soot and the carbon doesn't stick as well. So with that being said, let's go and try to get this thing clean. All right, so a little bit better look at it here. You can see the carbon buildup and all that. Um, Without using harsh chemicals, I, do, I say don't use harsh chemicals for a couple reasons. Number one, you can hurt the lens with a harsh enough chemical if it has corrosive nature to it. Uh, and of course, you can destroy finishes of whatever you're doing this on. This can be for your rifle light, for your pistol light, for whatever light you have. Um, you can destroy finishes. Uh, and of course, anytime you can avoid using harsh chemicals, I would suggest doing so. Uh, that really leaves something like Dawn. So I just put a little dab of Dawn on there. I'll work that around with my finger. I have an old toothbrush that I like to use to clean stuff with. Oh no, he's putting his light in water. Alright, so that looks reasonably better. It's not quite fully clean, but it does look a little bit better, and that might be good enough for you. I mean, it obviously still works, but uh, let's try something else. So toothpaste has long been said to work very well on getting this stuff off. If you hadn't heard it before, now you have. To just take a little bit of toothpaste, especially if it has a small amount of grit in it. You know, the grit that makes your teeth white. And work the toothpaste in. As you can see, it's already working better than the soap. Look at how black and muddy that is. Ooh. 
Okay, so I'm not I'm purposely not showing the lens to you right now, but you can see that a lot of the black stuff has come off. That's probably permanent damage to the uh, to the the light itself after you know well over 10,000 rounds in this light. That's probably permanent damage to the finish, but I I'm purposely not showing you the lens right now. Look at that. Can you see that? That lens looks nearly brand new. Nearly brand new. All right, everybody. So here you go again. That thing looks almost brand new. Uh, this is how I, if I get so, if it gets so bad where I can't clean it with my shirt tail, this is how I normally clean it. Um, again, it's kind of a, um, it's it's a not secret secret. Uh, a lot of people don't seem to know about this uh, because I see it online all the time. Like, how do I get the black crap off my lens? That's how you do it. Get yourself some toothpaste, rub it in there with your finger, rinse it off, and then treat it. Like I said, with some of the oil or something that you that you uh, 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 oil lube your pistol with, a lube your rifle with, put a little bit on the lens just with your finger or with the rag that you were using and it will help protect that um, for a longer period of time. Alright everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Hit up the links down below if you want to support the channel. There's always Patreon and uh, affiliate links in the website link below. Share this video. Share it all over the place. Share it with people that you know that need it. Share it with people that don't need it. Maybe they'll need it someday. But just point is, share it. Share the video. Hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.